Subscribe to Andrio Tech and press the bell icon to get our latest videos. Hi guys, in this video I will be showing you the installation of the Magma VX1 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Now first let's check out the Android version of this ROM and the other things. As you can see the device is named as the Galaxy Note 8 and the model number is SMN950N. Now let's check out the Android version. The Android version is Android 6.0.1 that is Marshmallow. Now let's check out the camera of this ROM. The camera is ported from the Galaxy Note 7. And if I have to tell you about the camera, the camera is quite fast and it is not having many bugs in it. Here you get different options and now if I have to talk about the mods, all the mods are not working. Only a few of them are working. You can also edit these mods from here. Now you can also get different filters as you get in the Galaxy Note 8. Now let me show you the edge screen. The edge screen is having many panels such as the people's edge panel. You can set different contacts over here. The quick tools panel which is having a compass, a scale and the torchlight option. And here we have the apps edge option where you can set different shortcuts to apps. Here you can also set different tasks such as uh, for the Samsung browser you can set uh, the view bookmarks task and for the camera you can set a take a selfie task. You can set different tasks over here. Now let me show you the air command. The air command is quite good and it is having the features like the create note option, smart select option, screen write option, translate option, view all note option. You can also set a shortcut from here. And now if I have to talk about the S Pens button, it's working fine on this ROM. As you can see it's working. Now let's check out the music player of this ROM. The music player is ported from the Samsung Galaxy S8 and it is having the edge lighting which we get in the Samsung Hello, Galaxy guys. Note 8. Now let's check out the RAM usage of this ROM. As you can see I have installed many of the apps. After installing the apps let's check out what is the RAM usage of this ROM. As you can see 1.8 GB of the RAM is used out of 3 GB and the available space is 838 MB. Now let's move on to the installation of the ROM. Now here to install the ROM you have to download the sboot file that is of 1.1 MB, the modem file with this, which is of 15 MB and the ROM which is of 1.74 GB. Now this fix folder you should install the cameras that is the note 7 camera and a 7 camera you can flash any one of them i suggest you to flash the note 7 camera because it is bugless now let's move on to the installation of the rom boot into your recovery now if you don't know how to boot into your recovery manually Press the power button, the volume up button and the home key at the same time. This will take you to your recovery. Click on the wipe option and then click on advanced wipe and wipe Dalvik, system, data and cache and then swipe to wipe. Once you are completed with this step, Turn off your device. Now once your device is completely turned off, boot into your download mode by pressing the power button, the volume down button and the home key at the same time. 
Once you enter into your download mode, click on the volume up button to continue. Entering into your download mode, connect your smartphone to a USB cable and connect it to your computer. Now once you have entered into your computer, open the Odin software. After opening the Odin software, click on the BL option and select the SBoot file and then click on open and next select the CP option and select the modem file and then click on open. Now over here you can see that my device is added. If your device is not shown over here, you should install the Samsung USB drivers. After you are done with opening these two files, click on start. Once the process gets over, your device will reboot. Now after entering into your recovery, click on the install option and now you can install your ROM. Swipe to install it. This will start the Aroma installer. Now here you can select the language of your choice and then click on next. Here select the first option that is Magma and X custom firmware installed and then click on next. Here you select the CSC of your region and then click on next. Here I suggest you not to install many apps because it will fill your root storage. Select the apps which you want to install and then click on next. Here you can install the system UI of your choice and if you want the ultra data saving mod you can install it and if you want green or white color battery indicator you can choose your one. Here I will choose the green color one and then click on next. Here also you can choose any option of your choice and then click on next. Here I suggest you to install the Note 7 camera because it is bugless and then click on next. If you want any sound mod that is Viper for Android, Extreme, Viper, Dolby, you can install any one. I like to keep the sound alive so I will choose that option and then click on next. Here you choose your country and then click on next. Here also you can select any option of your choice. I will select the match sick and super SU option and I don't want the busy box. If you want it you can install it. If you want the exposed framework you can install it. I will install it because I need it and then click on next. Here also you can select any option of your choice. If you want to wipe the internal storage of your device you can select the first option if you do not want to wipe your data and you can select the no full wipe option and then click on next now click on the install option this will start the installation of the rom Now once the installation is completed, click on next and select the reboot your device now and then click on next. Now your device will automatically reboot. The first boot may take up to 2-3 to three minutes.
As you can see my welcome screen has been shown. Now let me complete my setup. Now as you can see I have successfully booted up the ROM and the ROM is working quite good. Thank you for watching my video guys and if you like the video please hit the like button below this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.